In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for K2O. That's potassium oxide. Potassium oxide here, this is a neutral compound. There's no charge written up here like you'd see with an ion. So if we have a neutral compound, the oxidation numbers on all of these elements here, they need to add up to zero. So that's going to help us figure out the oxidation numbers on potassium oxide, K2O. So potassium is in group one on the periodic table. And when we have elements in group one, they have a plus one oxidation number. Oxygen, that's always going to be a negative two, with just a few exceptions. So these are the oxidation numbers for each of the elements in K2O. Let's check and make sure we got it right though, because everything should add up to zero. So I have two of the potassiums, they're plus one, plus I have the one oxygen, which is minus two, plus two and a minus two, that gives us zero. So these are the correct oxidation numbers for potassium and oxygen in K2O, potassium oxide. And this is Dr. B, thanks for watching.